I posted a video actually yesterday. I promise you guys I post two videos this week. Check that out. Well, that video is actually go to the supermarket and, and buy the stuff that we're cooking in this video. Also showing our the new puppy that we just got. But besides that, it's more of like a vlog style video. And this is a cooking video since I know you guys love I feel like these videos attract new viewers always. So my dad is a chef. He's been on a bunch of TV shows. Usually I've been lately I've been doing a series that's fast food turned to gourmet sort of. But I wanna do wanted to change it up, keep it fresh. So we actually just bought lobster and shrimp and he's gonna cook it live lobster. Don't keep the intro too long. Here's that. Our lobster is like 50 million years old or something crazy like that. I can't believe this gross thing tastes so good. Everything is prepared. Just help my dad chop some of the veggies. Like my knife work? Yeah, very fine, yeah. It's almost like I've been doing it for 20 years. We are 22, right? <laughs> if I put something in its claws, will it pinch it? Yeah. I'm just holding it. So we are gonna be cooking the lobster that we bought and the shrimp. Seafood medley. Tell us what we got. Tell us what we got here. I am making, today I'm poaching lobster. After that, I'm doing a white wine, shallot, butter sauce, and then roasted squash with pancetta, leeks, shepherd peppers, a little bit of garlic. It's almost like a home fries. And then uh, I just wanna keep the broccolini uh, very simple because it's your favorite thing. We're just gonna toss a little olive oil. Just a little bit of sea salt, very simple, because everything is about lots of taste. Yeah. Uh, I have also shrimp that we bought. Everything's deveined, taking all the, uh, you know, all the veined out. Then after that, I'm doing garlic, capers, a little bit of chili pepper, and also I have uh, some uh, anchovy. First step, I'm starting the sauce. Then now I'm poaching the lobster, right? I got hot water, lobster ready to go. Secret ingredient goes in, and then we talk about that secret ingredient. Okay? Wait, what is that secret Well, ingredient? I'm not telling you. That's why they call secret. So, you know, tail in, Make sure you push everything in. Huh? We will review the secret ingredient after. Meanwhile, uh, we're gonna start roasting the squash. So we're gonna do a little home fry squash, okay? Roasting pan, get some olive oil ready. That is the white wine sauce, shallots, white wine, and also has a little bit of white pepper, lemon juice, important. Oil, olive oil. With all these ingredients, you know, I am not putting anything garlic or pancetta in. I want to put with a little bit of uh, pancetta first. You know, just started a little bit of fat liver with a little bit of smokiness. How long do you boil lobster for usually? I would say, uh, you know, two pound lobster, maybe about uh, two minutes, three minutes ago. We're gonna count, okay? Sometimes I don't really, I just look at the lobster and I you talk to the lobster, right? Not exactly, he's gonna talk back now. But. On the pancetta, uh, starting to have a little bit of translucent. There you go. Go in there, wash. Use a kombucha uh, squash. I find it a little bit more richer, you know? Just get a little bit. You know, cooking is timing, right? So, you know, the secret ingredient is important. Make sure you have it. That secret ingredient. It looks like a cork. Well, that's the secret ingredient. It's not just the cork. Cream, ready to go. I toss it in. Now, just a little bit bubbly, and then I start putting the red pepper in. I'm not putting the yeah, leeks in yet, because I really don't want it to burn it. Meanwhile, come set the oven, 400. Now it's 360. Stir, 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 you know? Now, the cooking is going to be roasted, need the heat from the oven. I'm not right roast on the top, because it will be quite raw. Here it goes in the oven. Before I go, I just put just a little bit of salt. So, you know, during the process of cooking, you have a little bit of, at least the salt penetrate into the vegetable. And Eight minutes, we're gonna check again. Meanwhile, we're gonna start the polenta. It's water, very simple. Olive oil goes in. So tell bit. them what polenta is if they don't know. Polenta is essentially it's cornmeal. Lobster is boiling. You know, this is really perfect right now. I would say I would just take the tail out after, right? And I would continue cook the claw after. Because taking it out? Cool it down with some cold water, you know. Ready to shell. Now, secret ingredient, right? As you know, the claw, I'm gonna just give a little twist. Oh, just like that, huh? Just like that. Twist it, hold it down. Okay, go back in the water. Cook it a little bit longer. I don't want it to uh, the call. It's hard to take it out when it's really hard. Olive oil and also polenta start going in. Your whisk ready, your spatula ready. You know, get your polenta. Uh, I wanted to put some salt in some water. Very simple, some salt. I was uh, had a little bit of vegetable earlier. I want to keep it a little bit simple. Put the stem part in down first because you know it's thicker. You don't want the floret overcooking it, so you press it down, make sure it's submerged in the water. Nice. You can see, you know, like, you know, 
green, nice and green, the vegetables. Now, lobster. What's your favorite part of the lobster to eat? I, I would say the, you know, the claw. Okay, lobster, open. The lobster juice, mm, look at save the juice. the juice. Yes, lobster I save the juice. Well, we're going to use the juice into the sauce. Remember, sauce, I'm squeezing the juice. Here goes. Now, lobster, you know also they eat, right? In the ocean, they also have, you know, what we call like a, a little, like a liver. So they have a little sand in there, we don't need that part. Check, check, check. Make you sure know there's not poo in there from the lobster. Well, that's exactly, uh, I was just checking, right? Here comes all the juice going to, you know, the white wine sauce we had. So there could be poo in there? No, there's no poo because I tail out, you break a lobster, crack it, you open it up, it comes the lobster, the whole piece. It's just a perfect cooking timing too. <clears throat> You're gonna go back to here, take the claw out. Why do you boil the claws longer? Well, because the claw, it's hard to take the meat out when you don't cook it because it's, you can, they're way thicker, you know? Cool it down. So meanwhile, timing, right? So you have a, a squash inside. Here goes down the polenta. Come, polenta. slow, 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 slow. Whisk, 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 whisk. Whisk everything in. Put another, a little bit more. Polenta in. When are you gonna tell them what the secret ingredient is? Now we're gonna reveal. When I make polenta, you know, that's my secret of a chef, being a chef, right? Slow it down right away after you stir. Make sure they combine very well. You know it get a little bit too thick. Normally, I always keep a glass of water on the side. A little bit goes in, a little goes in, let it cook very slowly. A little bit more water. I just put a little pinch of salt in there, just a little, not so much. Now, meanwhile, lobster cool down, let's go. Okay, now we have to deal with this. Broccolini is fully cooked. Broccolini is ready. Look at this nice green. So fresh and so simple. And this is all come from Canada too. Lovely. Stir, 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 it's getting a little thick. A little more water. Now, we gotta reveal this sure. thing. This is the secret ingredient. The secret, I need you to review it. Oh, so you want to see? And I want you to cut it and show what it is. Use your hand, help me to open. And what does he say? What does it say? Forgiveness? Yes. Well, you know, it is, uh, you know, it's kind of tough for some people. Normally, don't cook lobster. They buy lobster already cooked. But, you know, some people find it, it's like always oh, really rough putting hot lobster in, in hot water. Hey, you know, it's hard to not create a recipe, right? I thought it was like garlic or something in, in a cork. <laughs> like polenta, really nice. Uh, keep stirring. Uh, okay, now. I have to prepare the shrimp. How are you doing like 20 things at once? Have you done this before? For 40, over 40 something years. Meanwhile, how is this? Ah, oh, this is nice. Okay. Okay. Come, bring it out. Stir, stir, stir. Cook it up. Garlic going down. Stir the garlic a bit. You see the pancetta, just perfectly brown. Now the leeks goes down. The garlic has been fried a little bit, get the flavor out. Because when the garlic is not fried, it tastes so raw. Stir, keep the polenta nice and creamy. How do you know when the polenta is ready? Well, it normally takes about almost like 20 minutes to a half an hour because that's where the grain is so nice and smooth. Okay, so I toss it. Just one toss so the leeks goes down. Mm. You're gonna crack this lobster open. So call out, separate the joint. You see this? Run shot. Open and this, you crack this open, you push this lobster meat, it came out so nicely. You see? Now, here you go. It's like essentially now I can make a lobster. Go back. Yeah. Stir, stir, stir. stir. Go toss, go back in the oven. Why right back in the oven? Well, I just need to cook a little bit with the leaks. Same thing, do it again. One shot. Don't say one, one shot, okay? Ah, how many shots? Just one and a half shots. <laughs> so open, you see the meat comes out. Beautiful. It turn into a lobster again. The juice. Oh, I love this. Oh yeah, that's great. That's great. Really sauce. Good stuff. Meanwhile, can you pass me the pair of scissors? Yeah, elbow of the lobster. It could be very hard. So just kind of cut it in between the elbow. Nice meat. I, I really enjoy the elbow meat too because uh, it just has so much nice muscle and the texture is great. Here comes. Scissors, you know, like kitchen tools. Yeah. So nuts. meanwhile, polenta, you need a little bit more water, you see this? Now they open up, right? Open up slow. You know when we talk about, you know, the lobster, does he have poo in the lobster? Yeah, of course they have poo in the lobster, just like they got to eat, right? I think the poo tastes kind of good. No, no, I'm very excited about the sauce too. I have to chop a little bit of chai for the sauce. When's the last time you cut yourself? <laughs> Lobster, 
just perfect. Now we're gonna open up this uh, kale. And I will show you all this, like, you know, sometimes they have this poo. Wow, this lobster is pretty clean. Yeah. This lobster hasn't really eaten lobster. Cut it in half. I'm really enjoying this so far, you know? We're gonna make the sauce right away because everything is pretty much ready. Home fries should be ready. This is just for you, right? I already ordered food. <laughs> now I want to strain this sauce down. You see this? Discard everything into the chives. Into the chive. The sauce go back into the pot. Now we gotta finish this home fries. Oh yeah! Come on! Come on! Look at that. This home fries is really nicely uh, still into form, not mushed up. That's what you want. There's one. Season the sea salt. Very simple. A little drizzle of that. Look at that. Yeah. This is my favorite vegetable. Yeah, that's why I made it. I know you will love it. This sauce is ready. I didn't know. I reduce a little bit more because I find it a little bit uh, a little more intense. Now, this is the lobster is ready, but I am not finishing yet because I needed to poach this uh, lobster finished with butter. Butter goes down. What does the butter do to the sauce? To thicken it up right now. I have olive oil. I want to roast it. I want to make a garlic shrimp. I have anchovy, all us. Oh, nice. Nice. You know the way I flatten it now? The shrimp is all go in one shot. Oh, <laughs> Now I drop the lobster in. You see this? Lobster, all the meat goes in there. Yeah, nice. All the juice, don't forget. Burn, flip over. This is what I like about cooking shrimp when they're hot in the pan. The shrimp turn nice and red. It means, you know, the flavor from the ocean really brings out, you know. Lobster is almost done. Let it turn off the fire. Let it slowly, you know, kind of very gently. Don't make the lobster too angry, you know. Shrimp, discard it. Put it down. I'm starving already. Shrimp is nice. Garlic goes down. Add a bit of garlic. So you add this back into the shrimp pan, right? Oh yeah, this is very flavorful, right? Intensify the flavor. How do you achieve? Olive oil, right? chili pepper. I love chili pepper. Little bit of paper. Shrimp down. Top, top, top. What kind of shrimp is this, what do you call it? This is like a, uh, it's almost like Italian style shrimp. But you know what's really nice? Just a little dash of this sauce. I think we should do cilantro. Everybody loves cilantro in my house. Oh, I'm mad at going back to finish our food. Oh, that sounds really good. Mm. That's a nice dish. A little bit of breadcrumbs. Just a little bit of uh, breadcrumbs. Polenta done? Yeah. All that's left is the lobster. Elbow? Mm. Mm. The lobster is just perfectly poached. Mm. Then we're gonna put the sauce on the side. Let's go through everything one last yeah, time. Yeah, let's So product. we have pancetta, roasted squash, and also uh, it's like a home fries. Leaves. Huge flavor. Poached lobster, poached lobster, white wine butter sauce, garlic shrimp with anchovies and capers, and also with uh, simple broccolini, and also polenta, and also my homemade pesto. It's gonna go nicely on the polenta. You got a pink pan, Newt? So this is my finished plate. I'm gonna try it now. What's your favorite part of the crab, Dad? I mean, the lobster. Lobster claw. Oh yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, that white wine sauce is really good. What's your favorite part? What I love about it, this, this dinner, it has acidity, saltiness, sweetness. Acidity is coming from, from the, uh, the garlic shrimp, the yeah, lemon anchovies. juice, anchovies, and the sweetness really coming from the squash. And of course, the acidity coming from the post lobster, the umami of the lobster is really good. What cuisine would you say this is? French and Italian. It's very French, it's very Italian, very Italian, very North American. This lobster is a 10, everything clean. Mm. Very satisfying. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Thank you. On to the next meal now, huh? Yes. So thank you guys so much for watching. My dad obviously loves cooking and he loves we have these sort of little challenges for him. And yeah, thank you for 45,000 subscribers. Thanks to my dad for always cooking for me. And I'll see you next Sunday for sure. Hey